All right, I wanted to show you, uh, this is how far we've gotten on our piece. And I went ahead, and I didn't clean it up too much, but I went ahead and just glued the hand and the goose onto the arm, and I want to see how it'll lay flat like that. Okay? Now, I'm gonna clean this all up and everything like this along here, but uh, just to get it, get it started. As you can see, just letting the, see from the side here, him holding the goose, in other words. And like I said, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do and everything like that. But what we're going to do before we do that is we want to do the other arm. So the other arm and the other hand, uh, now where this one was on this side, this one will be on this side, okay? Like this. And then the gun, that it's the hand with the gun, as you can see, it's going to fit in his and then go on his shoulder like this, in other words, okay? So, what we want to do is to, we want to go ahead and round all this off in here, okay? We don't, we want to leave this alone in here because as you can see if we, you know, how we can adjust it in, in, that, in that sense. Okay. So let's go ahead and, uh, They've got a football game going over near this house, and they got this loud music going. I apologize for that. Uh, okay, now remember, it's got to be this side. Remember, it's got to be like this, okay? Because that's on that side. Okay? So, yeah, there's a lot of music, and I'm, I apologize for that. I really do. That's terrible. That's just... It seems like people, they can't seem to have anything without having so much noise, you can't hardly stand it. And then it talks, <laughs> they hear the dog, he starts barking because the music starts getting loud. And uh, he's the next door neighbor's dog. And as we know, we're just, we're going to do the same thing on this arm that we did with the other one. We just shape it to make it uh, fit. People are getting off of school right now. And oh, it's, well, it's around four or something. People are getting off of school. So there's, uh, yeah, my, over by my mother's house, they have a, a football stadium. They have all kind of events going on. And I guess they feel that they have the right just to play music as loud as they want to. And, uh, all right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and come in here too. The, the main area is. You want to leave this here flat, okay? You want to leave this area in here flat, okay? You don't want it to do anything in here. So we can actually come in here and take off some wood in there, okay? It's not a whole lot different than the other one. In fact, it's almost the exact, exact same arm that you have uh, uh, with that. So, okay? So, uh, I'm just going to take some off. I don't take a whole lot off on this side before I, I, I fit it. You know, if I need to take some off, I can always do it. So it, this is not much of a carving problem right here, the, the arms are. Now the hand is a little bit different. The, the actual gun and the hands, it's gonna be a little bit more detail as we come. And you just keep bringing this down. Um, Yeah, some people just have a tendency, and I'm sorry about that. We're, we have a, maybe you can't hear it all that good. I can hear it pretty good. Uh, some of these school events feel that they just have the right to, you know, and that's, that's okay. It's not, I'm not mad at them. I just, sometimes they need to just understand the courtesy of others. And I'm pretty good ways from the stadium. I'm probably um, three blocks from the stadium. I hear it that good, so I can imagine what the poor people closer than me are getting, the noise they're getting in their homes and everything like that. Okay, let's take our piece and let's look here. As we can see, of course, this is going to have to come down a little bit more. 
Uh, it has really been raining here a lot. I, I mentioned that. Uh, in fact, we are we just had a a new generator installed for my mother. We made her get one of these 22k generate generators for her house, and she has been needing that because uh, you know we've had. Uh, uh, I'm doing this at the time where uh, Michael, the storm Michael, is now fixing to go into Florida. So when you're on the coast like this, the chances of these occurring are very well. Okay, now there we go, just like that. But you see, you want to keep that flat in there. You don't want to, um, you don't want to um, cut cut any off there if you can. Okay, so it will fit, uh, fit flush on the body. Um, yeah, at this time that I'm carving, Michael is uh, should be by uh, this is a uh, Monday. Michael should be by Wednesday into Florida, is what they're saying. So when you live on the coast like this, it's it's of course everybody knows I lost my house in Harvey, and it was just a tropical storm. So uh, and now the people of South Carolina are dealing with the same thing. So um, uh, okay, now look at that. There we go. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit more. And once we have the hand glued on to the arm, I mean we can still take some off the arm if we have to. So. Uh, it's no problem. Yeah, we got our 22K generator. There we go, we just got that. And so if the electricity goes out, well then we can help her, you know, we can keep her comfortable. And she didn't flood during Harvey, so you get 64 inches of rain and you don't flood over here, then you're not going to flood. <laughs> I'm telling you. And she got that much. She just didn't flood. All right. So basically, I've got the, the, the arm down with the way I want it. Just sort of like that. Now let's take the hand. Now what we want to do is we want to look at the hand. And this is the gun. And as you can see, it's all drawn out there, in other words is what it is. So what we want to do is the, I'm sorry, there goes the arm, I'm sorry, I'll sit it right down here. The hand comes, uh, the thumb comes around here like this, okay? And then on this side, the hand actually goes like this, okay? And then it goes like that when we start cutting it down. That's how it goes, so. Uh, that's the way it's going to be. So what we want to do is we want to start cutting the, the we want to start cutting the uh, gun. We're going to thin the gun up quite a bit. We want to start cutting it away from the hand first of all. Now you want to be careful, especially in this area, so you don't chip the hand. And then you just sort of. You know, sort of start taking the wood away, and you do the same thing over here. You come in the back of here, and you start taking the this away, the stock and the from the gun. As you can see that, okay. Start taking that away on this side. You go from side to side on these things because. You don't want to, and if you see how this hand is crooked or how it's crooked up by a bit, that's so that it can come back like that. So that it'll be standing back like that and come over the shoulder. In other words, see, there we go. Okay. Now, this is the stock. And we want to just kind of take. the wood away from here a little bit and of course this has to be thinned down okay and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring this all the way across here all right 
and we want to cut the stock down over here. Okay. If any of you fans or if any of you people that are watching love rap music, well, I'm not a fan of rap music, and that's usually what they play over there at those stadiums. I'm not a fan of rap music. I wasn't, that was not my age. But, fortunately, that's what they're playing. Okay, now what we want to do is see how this is shaped. So we want to bring this down and start removing a little wood from where the thumb is right here, okay? Because that's got to come down also. Just like that. So we just sort of cut a little vault there. And we just keep bringing the gun down is what we do. From these points, we just keep bringing the gun in down. And we can even cut across here. Make a little impression there and take some little wood off there. So, see how I use the push cut along here. And then I use this, I call it the stop cut, but actually, to me, this cut here is a paring cut. I always call it the paring cut because that's how you cut an apple. And so I always call it the paring cut. A stop cut is actually um, where you cut and then you stop. In other words, like this is a push cut. Okay, and we're going to go over here. We're going to do the same thing. And we just keep bringing that gun down until we get down pretty low and then we start shaping it the way we want to. Basically it's to be a shotgun of course, um, a single barrel or whatever, I don't know, it's pump or we'll just make it a single barrel. I could have made it a pump but and you see there I go taking a large portion of this off. As we get lower down here we're then going to, um, and of course, here's the stock. And of course, the gun has to get down pretty. And we're going to um, cut along here, bringing the gun down a little bit. bring the stock down so basically this is just first of all taking the area the stock down taking the gun itself down the barrel and the uh, other part of the gun to get it the way we want it okay Notice how whenever I car I do this though, that I um, I just take my time. You don't get in a hurry. You don't get in a hurry at all. Okay, now as you can see, of course this will all have to be brought down too, but that's going to be brought down after we get the gun down to the, about the size that we want it to be, the thinness of it. This is from a one inch piece by the way. This is one inch thick basswood. One inch thick basswood, so it's...
I always make it a little thicker. You could probably do it out of three quarter, but I wanted to make sure I had enough room with the um, with the gun. I didn't want to didn't want to have not not so so you know it's and the hand will go like this, and the gun will fit over there like that. Okay, let's continue to bring this because this this uh, this stock is thin. It's not. And you go from side to side. Now that stock is starting to get down in an area that we want it to be, in other words. We, we want it to... Okay, well we, we're going to slow down as far as taking large chunks off of it, okay? Okay, now what I want to do is get my... Um, get, get, let me... Seems like they just keep keep turning that music up more and more I tell you all right now what what happens is is this barrel comes comes like this okay and then the gun uh, the, the rest of the gun you know it, it comes in a way you know very similar to this of course it it goes even a little bit further in other words we're, we're, we're kind of dividing we're going to kind of divide the barrel from the uh, from the actual firearm itself, in other words, the stock is what I want to say, not the actual firearm itself. So, what we want to do, we want to go ahead and bring this this down on both sides, to where we've got it pretty thin. Okay, and then we start really just. Um, Okay, now what we want to do is thin that up and barrel up where it's, it's thin. And we want to do the same thing over here. This is where the barrel goes and this is where the stock comes up right there, okay? And that stock is going to be higher, just a little bit higher. For instance, let's go, let me go ahead and cut this like this and bring that, I'm going to remove that, okay? And we're going to bring that barrel down, okay? And the same thing over here. Now that's all got to be brought down quite a bit. I'm just showing you what we do. Okay. Now let's continue to bring uh -oh, the barrel down. Okay. Let's continue to bring it down. kind of cut this here now his hand is basically we don't need to really do a trigger because his hand would be basically over the trigger is what I'm saying it would be over the trigger 
Whoa. That was some doves. I don't know what happened. Something scared him. I don't know what, but something scared him. About ten doves took off from the trees. And we're going to do that. Just like this. And we want to bring that in here. Okay. In fact, let's just go ahead and do this. Let me just kind of cut this right in here where the, uh, the stock comes on the barrel. Just like that, okay? Oh, brother. It's getting louder. <laughs> so I, I apologize for that, folks. All right, you see that? Now that barrel, of course, is gonna have to come up in here. It's gonna have to be taken up in here. Okay, see that? And, uh, I know a lot of people say, well, there's a noise ordinance. Well, yes, there's a noise ordinance, but, and you think that at a, at a stadium, they would, um, they would do something about it, but fortunately, it's a, it's a public event, and they're not, so. All right, now, let's look at it now. Here's the stock that goes out, and then this one, this stock here, this, the, the, it comes up here like this, the, the uh, stock does, in other words. It will come up like that. Okay. Well, let's look at it, see? Now the stock is definitely gonna come down a lot more. And come from both sides. Now we're getting it down where we want. There we go, see it? See? want to take this down a little bit in here we want it but we don't want to take large bits of it off right now here we go there we are see that okay and let's make a cut in here and make a cut remove some wood in there I have to